Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Today, Sunday, is going to be the first of my Sunday sale days. It is, today is going to be a hodgepodge of stuff. I'm going to have items that I thrifted, that I picked up at garage sales, or just some random pieces that I had to share with you guys. And like always, I will offer them to you guys first for a discount before I list them on eBay. So first I have a piece that I thrifted. I picked this up at Goodwill and I did pay up for this piece. This is a beautiful Stour, the brand Stour, Tanzanite chip necklace. Now I did pay $7.99 I think for this necklace, but I didn't mind because I have actually sold this necklace before. I sold a Stour Tanzanite necklace and bracelet set. I want to say it was in the 80s. It was a while ago. So I didn't mind paying because I know that the value is in this necklace and it's a beautiful necklace. So the first piece is this Tanzanite necklace. Okay, at the same thrift store, I saw these Tanzanite chip cluster earrings. And I don't know if they are from Stour. They are not marked Stour, but they are marked 925. So these are a gold verme 925 sterling silver earring with Tanzanite chips. The gold is in really good condition. These earrings are very pretty. And they match the necklace. I just don't know if they were intended to. Okay, here we have a sterling silver and art glass necklace. And this was also at a Goodwill. I have already tested everything that you see today will already have been tested. So these long stations here, silver stations, are sterling silver. Let me try to show you the, the beads. There's kind of like a silver foiling in the large beads. And here's the clasp. It is marked and also tested as sterling silver. Pretty red colors. Next we have a pair of sterling silver and I tested these stones with my Presidium Gem Tester and to be honest with you, I, I'm not quite sure which of the two they are. It was registering high up in the jadeite spinel, so it could be a pink jade, but it was also registering at the beginning of the topaz. So I'm gonna show you guys closely and maybe you guys can tell me what you think. Do they look like a topaz? A pink topaz, maybe like a raspberry topaz, or a pink jade. But it was definitely at the end of the jade and the beginning of the topaz. So these are sterling silver. I believe they were marked as well. Yeah, they're marked as well on the back there. 925. And cute little drops. Okay, this necklace is gonna be the last of my thrifted items this week. This I picked up at a little church thrift store here that's local and it is, the pendant is a hematite toned rose pendant with black rhinestones. And then it's on this black rubber chain. And then the, the fasteners here, and I noticed that, these are 925. So the fasteners are 925 and they did test 925, but the pendant is not. That is just in a hematite tone. But I thought it was really cute. I love the black rose. So that 
is that one. All right, the next items I'm going to show you are just going to be some random pieces. I'm gonna try to have a good mix of jewelry to show you guys on these Sunday sale days. There's gonna be inexpensive items, there's gonna be more pricey items, there's gonna be designers, new wood tags, and there's also going to be fashion jewelry. I'm gonna tr really try to make an effort to have a good mix here for you guys. So. This is a brand new pair of Kate Spade earrings. They're the gum gumdrop earrings. These are brand new. Let's see. 14 karat gold filled. And the color is, is really unique. It's kind of like a cranberry blush almost color. So got some Kate Spade. Okay, next we have a pair of fashion rings. I don't believe that these were meant to go together, but I think that they look pretty together, so I put them together. And this one is missing a little rhinestone, but underneath this, I thought that they looked cute. So this is, I believe, glass and it is in a gold tone. And they are in a six. Just think the, the color on this is really pretty, really pretty aqua color. All right, next we have a Brighton bracelet. This is a really pretty, Flower Charm Brighton Bracelet. Let me show you closely. So it has these etched links. The heart. Here's the underside. I just wanted to point out that it does not have the Brighton B tag on there. It has the traditional Brighton heart clasp. And when I researched this flower design, I did find this, this line. So it is Brighton, but it does not have the Brighton B. Just in case you guys wanted to know. Okay, this is a hematite tone hinged bangle bracelet. Has a nice design there. The condition is really good. There are no, oops, got too close. There are no designer marks on this. But that is what it looks like. It's a nice heavy piece. It doesn't feel cheap. Here's another hematite toned piece. This is a J. Crew necklace and it is fairly long. The bottom here has all of these nice cushioned glass pieces, and then you've got the chain, and then J. Crew. Let me show you this closely. Here's another brand new piece, Ex Extraordinary Life. And it is a sterling silver expandable bracelet. And it says, believe, believe in the beauty of your dreams. And it has the little believe tag. Ooh and the little butterfly charm. And then these two little charms down here. And it is attached in the box, so I'm not gonna take it out. I'm gonna leave it like that. Next is this silver tone with this Rhine Star stone bar necklace. And the silver tone on this is really nice. Let's make sure we're in focus. There are no brands on this necklace. The chain is nice 
and thick and the clasp is nice. Okay, let's do another ring because rings are fun. This is a fashion ring and it is a gold tone and it has this large faceted white stone that feels like glass and in the inside it's very hard it's kind of like an etched wording but it says stainless steel so this is a cocktail ring it's well I'll put it on the ring sizer it's a seven Look at how bright the gold tone is on this next, next necklace. It is in great condition. It is a made well necklace. And there's the M for made well. Has a, an extender here. Kind of has a almost like a braided look to it. Great condition. Okay, these I believe are also made well. It doesn't say anywhere, but when I researched this, this bag, it was shown with the made well pieces. So this might be one of their bags that they use. And these are nice, heavy, very, very good quality. You can see the reflection in these. Um, heart earrings. There's the hooks, and this is the little bag it comes with. Here's another new with tags piece. This is, let me see if I can pronounce this, Panacea. And it has a Nordstrom, I believe Nordstrom rack tag. And let's look at this closely because it looks like stones. And it has a gold stone little crystal here. And then a little tassel that is still in the plastic, and I'm going to leave it like that. Cute little three stretch. Next, we have a Michael Kors bracelet. This is really cute. It is a Michael Kors belt style bracelet, and it has the faux tortoise shell panels on the side in the gold tone. And there is some scratching on this. When you look closely, you could see some scratching on the gold tone on the back in the front. See like right there, you could kind of see it. Um, but what's, what's really neat about this bracelet is that it's adjustable. You lift this little belt part and it has the two holes. So if you need it tighter, you would put it in that one. If you need it bigger, you'd put it in that one. Cute. All right, here are some Sugar Fix earrings. They are larger earrings in all of the beaded, beaded work here. And the color is kind of like a cross between a purple and a pink, kind of like a fuchsia color. This would be great for summer because it's kind of bright. It says Sugar Fix on the back. I did notice on the back of this one, there was a little bit more wear you can see there's a little bit more dulling on the back of this one than that one but the fronts cute cute bright earrings okay here we have this Steve Madden phone ring and neck bling it says set now it is new in the package but I am noticing that the little phone the phone ring here has crystals and one of them looks like it's missing let me show you that. It very well could be on the inside of the package or it won't be, but it will be priced pretty cheap because of that. Okay. All the stars have little crystals on it. So there's that. This one's gonna be a little harder to show because it's longer, but this is a plunder necklace and the bottom here has the three strands with the cream colored and the gold and then let me turn it so we can see then it goes into the chain and then here it says plunder it's a fashion necklace 
Here we have another J. Crew necklace. This one has these acrylic links. This one is double strand. I actually just sold a J. Crew necklace that's similar. It was one strand, it had a chunkier acrylic link, and that one sold for around $32. So let me show you this. It's a pretty blue color and there is a piece of a tag here. I don't even know if this necklace has ever been worn. Kind of like a baby blue color. Let's see, where's the, there's the J. Crew tag. The, the gold is in really good condition. And then the ribbon here is, is where you tie. You can untie it and make it any length you want, really. Next, we have this really classy, classic style Monet necklace, not necklace, bracelet. Try that again. And it has the silver tone black with the rhinestones. The silver tone is in really good condition on this piece. There's Monet. Here we have this bangle bracelet and it is in kind of like a matte silver tone with like this dimpled, almost hammered look. And it is branded, it's Barbara Boz. It's a nice heavy piece. Now this piece, I am pretty sure I have um, opened up this piece already before, but I think I was gonna keep it because I loved the quartz stones and then just decided not to. It still has the tags on there. It says quart nuggets, it was 48. I don't know what brand that was because it's cut, but it's a silver tone. And you can see some of the stones kind of like that one has different coloring in there. if you like stones this one is brand new in the box it is dog eared jewels and gifts and this is sterling silver recycled sterling charm handmade in the USA and you can see that the the chain is really dainty and then it has this little clover charm and it says lucky you let me see. It was from Nordstrom for $33.90. Here we have a cute, simple, gold tone fashion necklace. It's double strand and it has the little star and the moon. This one is more simple and delicate. You can see the clasp there. The gold tone is in really good condition, but there are no brains or marks. This one is gonna be the last necklace for today. And actually it is a necklace and bracelet set. It is the La Coco curb chain in silver. This is a really nice, heavy piece. Okay, move everything aside. So I believe this top part that they have attached is the bracelet. So if you wanted, you could keep it like this and wear it as just a really long piece. So it would give it that extra length. But if you didn't, and you wanted the, to wear the bracelet as the bracelet, it's kind of a unique, versatile piece. Let me done. Clasp that, put these ones together. So there you have your necklace, and then you have 
the bracelet. That's a cute little set. Let me show you closely the quality. Well, let's see if you could tell. The silver tone is in really good condition. After this one, I just have a couple more pieces for you guys today. This one is just a fashion bracelet. The pieces here are a faux turquoise and they are in acrylic, but the silver tone is in really good condition. And these, these are light. Here's another fashion bracelet. This one has like a cheetah, cheetah print and it does have the faux hair. I'll try to show you closely. So it goes in the three and then it has this matte gold design. And then the little magnetic clasp at the back. And there is some, there is some wear and scratching on this piece. Not a ton, but it's there. Here's the inside. That's a fun piece. Okay, the last piece for today is this really cool ring. It is such a unique piece. It is Trina Turk. You can see back there, Trina Turk. And look at, they almost look like barbells to me but they're ended with these crystals. Gold tone looks really good to me. Okay, let's get a size. It's, it's pretty much on the seven. I had to push down a little bit, but how cool is that? Unique, right? I thought that would be a good piece to end with. And so that is that, a little, a little something different this time. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And I, what a great way to occupy our brains right now from all the craziness that's going around than to look at a bunch of pretty jewelry, I think. So I hope you are all well. Thank you for spending this time with me. Lots of love and blessings to you all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.